another WPC power driver board. The behavior of this one when it came in was that it wasn't providing 12 volts or no, I'm sorry, it was the 18 volts for the flash lamps. And uh, the, the situation was that BR4 had failed and you could diode test BR4 and it was it would check out just fine, but under load it would fail. So I replaced BR4. I replaced C5 as I usually do for the five volt circuit and C11. C11 was a little domed. I don't know if it can happen on getaway, but it can happen on whitewater <clears throat> where if you get the connectors backward or in the wrong place, um, you can damage C11. So I put this diode in here on the end of this big sand resistor and that prevents that from happening anytime in the future. Also replaced C4 and C2 and all the power output, input and GI headers all the way around on this one. So, and the 20 volts now measures correctly. So we can put it into solenoid test. And all those are working correctly. I'm thermal illumination. All top, middle, bottom, and the remaining two strings. So those are working correctly. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do all lamp tests. Everything operating properly there, and I like to do lamp and flashers tests because this gives you an opportunity to see all the flasher circuits working all at one time, both on the play field and on the back box. So those are all working properly. This one under Bigfoot Cave, that's one I like to check for sure. And that's it. This, uh, I'm gonna play some white water now, but this power driver board is ready to go back. Thanks so much for sending it.